Welcome back to the vlog. Uh, today is Monday. Now, there was no vlog yesterday, and there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, yesterday was a very busy day for me, and I, by the time I got a chance to sit down in front of the camera, I was completely exhausted, and I did try recording. It just didn't come out well at all. And uh, I'm also looking at the way I'm doing the vlogs. Uh, I have been doing daily vlogs, but it's not always been stuff to record on a day, so sometimes it's just me sitting here talking, and it's not really turned out too well. So what I'm going to do is a slight change to how I'm doing the vlogs. I'm still going to try and record every day, but it may not be that I release a vlog every day because there may not be enough material. So in, in that, those cases, it may be a vlog every two days, a vlog every three days, or it may still be a daily vlog. It just depends on how much is going on. So if there's a day where there's not a vlog, don't be too surprised. It's just because there's not been much happening that day. Uh, so yesterday was, I said, a busy day. Got up early to watch the Grand Prix. A uh, really good race, really enjoyed it. Uh, congratulations, Daniel Ricciardo, on your win there. Uh, if you didn't see it, go check out the highlights. It was really, really good. The second half of the race, loads of brilliant overtaking moves. Go check it out if you're a fan. Uh, if you're a fan, you've probably seen it already. So really, really recommend for those who haven't. Go check this one out. Uh, and then I spent the morning with my daughter. We then went off to my aunt's to go play a visit and then I took my daughter home to her mother. Uh, stopped off, got some shopping in on my way home and it was about half past five, six o'clock by the time I got home and I could barely keep my eyes open. I was exhausted. It's been a really long few days for me. A lot going on. Uh, so I just needed to get a good night's sleep. So I did. I managed to get about 12 hours sleep, would you believe, which I haven't done for a long time. I uh, got up late this morning. Uh, didn't have a class in college this morning, which is good, so I was always going to have a long lie this morning. There's no work tonight either, and the class that I did have this afternoon has been cancelled, so I've got a full day off, which is brilliant because it means I can get down and get some videos recorded that I've been meaning to do for a while. So one of those, or four of those actually, are the juice reviews. So I'm going to do the Nova Vapes juices. These came in a wee while ago. Uh, this one I have been enjoying quite a lot. So uh, I'm going to be getting those reviews done, and to do that I've set up the uh, uh, competition RDA. Uh, I'm not really sure what the name of this one is, but it's the one that came with the Mech Mod. But it is quite, I'm finding it quite a good one for flavor, and I've got it on the GX350 here, uh, running at 60 watts. Getting some lovely cloud off that, and the flavor's really coming through, which is what I want for these juice tests. So I'm going to get those juice tests done. I'm also going to try and get the review, well, I want to get the review done for the Smog 22 here. You'll note that the tank is virtually empty. I need to get this completely empty so I can strip it down and show it in the review. So that's my plan for most of today is to get these reviews done, uh, to get these all shot, edited together and uploaded. And then I'll come back on the vlog. I'll see what I'm see what else I can get done today. Uh, this is a full down day for me, so I can get uh, quite a bit of material shot and done and edited together and get all this stuff done that I've been meaning to do for a while. I've just not had the time. Uh, next few days are going to be quite busy, though. Tomorrow is a full day of college and work. Wednesday is a morning in college. Thursday is a full day of college and work. So that's a few busy days coming up again. Uh, but I will be able to get an early night tonight and get caught up. And as you can see, my eyes are still a bit red, still a bit recovery, but I have got my contacts back in again today, which I do prefer. Uh, but I'm keeping the hat on because I just like wearing my hat. Uh, so that's it for the minute. I'm going to crack on with these reviews and I'll come back on the vlog in a little while. So it's quite a bit later on in the day now. Uh, it's about nine o'clock at night now and I did do uh, all the videos that I wanted to get done so I got the full juice reviews done I used the comp RDA here on the GX350 it's a nice flavor flavor tasting combination that I put together here uh, I do quite like it it's a nice easy dripper there's a nice wide bore on there so it's easy to drip onto I'm not going to do a review on this because it is a clone it's not a proper one and it came with that mech mod but uh, if I can get hold of a proper one of these, I might review it because it is quite a nice RDA. And it gets some nice flavour off it. There's no control on airflow though. All you've got on it are, you'll see the holes at the side there. You can't adjust them at all. So the airflow is the airflow, which I'm not too keen on. 
I would do like a bit of adjustment being available. Uh, so the other review I got done was the Vape Pen 22, this one from Smock. Uh, so I've done a full review on this. The Aegis reviews are all about four minutes long. And the review on this one is about 15 minutes because it's a full what's in the box and build and review on it. So that's all done. I do quite like this one, but go check out that review. I'll put a couple of links at the top for one of the juice reviews and uh, for the review on this. So jump on over. Feel free to take a look at them. So I'm really liking this device and I reckon I'm going to make this a prize for Patreon. So if you jump over onto the Patreon, that's the www.patreon.com slash purplemongers. Uh, the video over there explains how it all works, put the money in and so and you get entered into prize raffles. But I think what I'm going to do is one of the first raffles I'm going to do is for one of these. I'm going to get another one in, get a brand new one and I will run a raffle on the, for everyone that subscribes to the Patreon. doesn't matter what level you come in at. To win one of these devices it's a good little pen device good for new vapors good for experienced vapors as well it's a nice little device so that's what i'm going to do there uh other thing that i've been doing mostly this evening is i've been working on the terminator here this is the tesla safe terminator this is the rda kit that i got for about 15 pounds uh came in and I put a new build on it on Saturday morning while I was watching the qualifying for the Grand Prix. Uh, I was going through a bit of a build, building up a few RDAs that I hadn't done for a while. I was, and I put a new build on this, and it wouldn't work. Um, I was getting a warning from the light, and I've checked it in the user manual. It means short circuit, or uh, not enough voltage, or there's multiple things that it could mean. Uh, essentially what was happening was the blue LED light that comes up on here was flashing five times but that was all the information I was getting. And it didn't matter when I changed the RDA, it was given it to me when I had no RDA attached, it was just giving me this flash every time I tried to fire it. So, what I've done is I've taken it apart completely, so luckily it's just Phillips screws that are holding it together, so I took it apart and took a look at the 510 connector. So the 510 connector in here is not a spring-loaded one, it's not a it's not a adjustable one it is static it is staying in place and the actual 510 that sticks up through it the positive terminal which is the part that sticks up through it uh, is separated from the negative terminal by some rubber grommets and they had moved and in fact it looked like one of them was actually installed upside down and therefore it wasn't wasn't causing the uh, connection to stay in place so after a lot of fiddling about i managed to get them in the correct positions and now this is working and firing up. And that's working absolutely fine. Uh, it's still a bit wobbly. It's still a bit... Mm, I'm still not 100% on this device. I, I like the size of it. I like the use of it. But it's not It's not really going to be, be good when I do the full review on this. Full review is coming. But the fact that I've had to spend about an hour and a half fiddling around with it to try and get it working uh, it doesn't bode well for it uh, the fact that I've managed to fix it is a plus but it, pro it knocks it very well much out of it uh, at the, I was putting it together for the last time it was going to be the very last time I was trying because I had to take it apart put it together take it apart put it together to, to test it and it got to the point where I just had nothing it was going to be if it doesn't work this time that's it and it worked so Luckily, I managed to fix it. And I can start using it again. But it's going to have to be a case of running it a little while, seeing if it does cut out again, seeing if it will stays in place, and then do the full review on it. So I was going to try and get a review of this done fairly soon. But I think I'm going to have to run it for a bit longer before I can get to the point of being able to review it properly. Just to say that it is working, that it isn't just me. It rattles a little bit and there's a bit of wobble on the RDA. Yeah, it shouldn't be doing that. It's not It's not the best that you can get out there, but it is a low-cost RDA, RDA kit, which was the point of getting it to see if it was any good. So 
So that's pretty much going to be it today. Uh, as I said before, earlier on, the vlogs are going to change a bit now, so it's not going to be a daily vlog. Tomorrow, definitely not a vlog day because it is a full day of college followed by a full work shift. No sort of break in between there. If I can get some footage recorded during the day, I will, but it'll probably be a vlog on Wednesday that'll come out. Uh, so until then, all the usual good stuff, like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, follow me on the Twitter, that's the at one purple mongoose. Jump on over to the Patreon, www.patreon.com slash purple mongoose. And as ever, they